Hi guys, welcome to Janine's Life. I'm Janine. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'm sorry you guys, I've been like MIA. I haven't done a video in like two months. I don't even know if I know how to do a video anymore. My bad. I needed some me time. I didn't know if I wanted to do YouTube anymore. I was really going to give it up and not do it anymore. But I had some time to myself. I came around, I got my spirits back up and I'm back. New hair y'all. My hair's darker, new setup. Um, and I'm happy, so happy to be back. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for being away for so long and for not being present, you guys. Like, I was not on YouTube. I wasn't watching videos up until just recently. So please forgive me to all my subscribers and all of the people that I'm subscribed to. I'm really sorry from the bottom of my heart and I hope that you understand where I'm coming from and that I really needed this time um, because of just some things that happened that were really devastating and serious. I just wanted to let y'all know. Um, so thank you guys for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would subscribe and become part of the family. Um, today's video was a little bit different. Um, I went dumpster diving, you guys. Like, oh my God. I can't believe that I actually did this and I did this with my kids. They came with me, you guys. It was like spur of the moment. It was not the first time that we dumpster dove. Um, this was actually like the third third or fourth attempt. Um, we attempted previously. Um, we went to Sephora and we also went to GameStop um, because my son um, and my daughter are really into video games and all of that and we were very unsuccessful. Um, it was either disgusting, A, or B, um, someone had already beaten us to the dumpster. I mean, they got there before we did. And being that this was like my third or fourth attempt, I was so surprised that we actually found some stuff. I'm sorry I don't have footage of it. Um, I really apologize about that. It was spur of the moment. It was impromptu. We were actually headed to the Dollar Tree. It was really early. And I was like, oh, Ulta's right there. Let's go check out their dumpster. And my kids were down. So my son actually helped me out in the dumpster area. And my daughter was the lookout okay so she was like looking out making sure that we weren't gonna get caught so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into and show you what i found it's all skincare what we found was um in a dumpster that i believe was fairly clean for being a dumpster they had three dumpsters behind ulta one was like disgusting smelled really bad it had like all kind of juices running down like just nasty Mm, like a dirty diaper just blew up in it okay like it was nasty luckily they don't throw like their products into that one they have two other dumpsters and the particular one that we found these items in was actually in a dumpster that had a whole bunch of cardboard boxes um, displays just um, plastic um, it seemed to look like stuff that they use for displays just like cardboard and like pictures of women and urban decay like makeup displays and just like plastic and cardboard pieces okay so I just want to give you like a picture of like where we were this wasn't like the most disgusting dumpster that I've seen uh, per se but it wasn't that bad okay we were gloved we had um, bags around our shoes we looked like we had little hazmat suits going on you know you got to be prepared you never know like a rat or something crazy might jump out and like bite you or something like a hobo might jump out of there you know no offense to the hobos y'all need somewhere to sleep but i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into what we found they are all testers like i said let me get into it all right this is by philosophy and this is called Pure Grace. This is the 480 milliliter or 16 fluid ounce lotion. This is a body lotion and it is full as you guys can see. Um, it was fairly clean, although I did take everything home, sanitize everything with bleach and then with um, Lysol wipes. So I wanted to show you guys that. And these are selling at Ulta for $37. They threw this $37 lotion in the trash. We got it for free dollars. I got a few products from Philosophy and one of the other products that I got was by Philosophy as well and it's the Live Joyously Firming Body Emulsion. 
And this one's a little more beat up. It is a tester. It says it's a tester. It is also fairly full. It's probably like right around here. It's not as full as the other one, but it's very full. It's also the same size. And when I look up the price on Ulta's website, it also retails for $37. The next item that I got is also by Philosophy. It's the Living Grace Satin Finish Body Oil Mist. And it um, is pretty full, as you can see. I believe it's something that you spray on yourself as soon as you get out of the shower. And it is a tester as well. And this sells for $27 in Ulta. I really was like kind of blown away that all these items, these products that were like full, we're thrown out. I have a feeling that when they get new products from the vendors and if I think if the style of the packaging changes or um, maybe they send them out like every so often because it gets stale. Sitting in the store maybe there's an expiration maybe the vendors send out either new packaging style or a different product or they're rolling out a new line or maybe it's because they've had that particular display for such a long time that they roll out a new one just to get it like not being stale. I don't know. The next product that we found which is a very used is also a tester. It's by Philosophy as well. It's Affirming Body Emotion and it's Amazing Grace. And this, this is very used. You guys can see that it's right here. So there's about a third left. Um, but this also sells for $37 retail and they threw that out. I mean this one's kind of done but you can get a lot of uses out of that one. The next product that I found was the Exuviance Moisturizing Antibacterial Facial Cleanser. It clearly says that it is a tester. And when I tried to look this one up on Ulta, I couldn't find this packaging. So it looks like they rolled out with a new design and a new packaging, but it's the same product. And this is just, you know, an antibacterial cleanser. It removes your makeup, dirt, excess oil, blah, blah, blah. And this sells for $36. And this is about a little bit less than halfway full. The next product that I have is also by Exuviance, and it's a moisture balance toner. And you can see that it is... A little bit more than halfway, maybe it's halfway, I don't know, half full, half empty, whatever you guys want to call it. But this is also the same price as the facial cleanser. And there's so much product left. That also retails for $36. The next two products, you guys, were the Golden Ticket. I knew when I saw these products that I was like, whoa, well damn, shit. They don't throw these out. These are expensive products and they look to be like brand new. When I tell you brand new, when I looked at them, they looked brand new, but they're testers. And let me show you what I found. This is the Paracone MD DMA Firming Pads. There's a 60 count. These are expensive. I know because I've looked into this brand before. All of their products are expensive, $60 and up. This one right here retails for $80. And let me tell you, it is, for the most part, full, okay? Full. You see that? $80, okay, you guys? It's maybe like $75, maybe $76 worth in here, you guys. That's crazy that they threw this out. Like, people pay a lot of money for this brand right here. You guys, I can't believe that I found this. So this was an awesome find to find an announcer. The next product is also from Pericone MD. Chloroplasma Cream. Uh, actually, it's not a cream. This is the Chloroplasma Face Mask. This also retails for $80. And as you can see, it is pretty much full. I don't think that when people go in there that they actually use these facial products. For the most part, you're going in there and you're testing out perfumes, you're testing out makeup. Um, if you're getting a facial, they're not doing these really on you. They're not using these wipes and these masks on you. They're doing cleansers, they're doing toners, they're doing moisturizers. They're doing things to help you with your wrinkles, your under eye bags, your under eye circles, that sort of stuff. So. 
this was an awesome find. Like, I can't believe that we found these products in the Ulta dumpster. The last product that I found was just a, a gift. Um, it doesn't have a price. I couldn't locate a price on it. I think this is something that Ulta just gives you with a purchase. They're like, you know how they have those promos. If you buy this, we'll give you this for free. This is the Skin Fix. It's what we do, foaming, foaming oil cleanser. It's just a small little one, and it's brand new. has not been opened yet. Brand new. So that's all I got um, for free from Ulta Dumpster Diving. And I'm really, really happy that we actually found something for a change um, looking in the dumpsters. I plan on looking again in the future, the near future. It's kind of addicting, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to use all these products because obviously some of them have been used. I don't know how they've been tampered, but when I look at them um, and the way that they were presented in the dumpster, they didn't look like they've been tampered with too much, but you never know. Um, of course, the Dr. Paracone MD products look fairly brand new, if not um, barely ever touched. So... I'm thinking I might do a review on that. If you guys want me to do a review on those items, let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys have had any experiences dumpster diving, let me know. If you guys are thinking about dumpster diving, let me know. If you can tell me where I should be dumpster diving, let me know down in the comments. Um, it was a really fun experience to have with my kids, I'm not gonna lie. We laughed, we joked, we screamed, we ran, we got in the car, we, we drove off. We had a good time. Um, so I will probably do it again just for family experiences, just for them to grow up and say, Mom, remember when we went dumpster diving? Like, that was crazy. You're crazy. I am crazy. But my family dynamics are a little bit different than probably yours, and I don't have any shame in dumpster diving or retrieving items that are pretty much new for free. I mean, come on, you guys. Um... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys um, for all your love and support. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you would. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.